This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. All right, so we got Fousey. He's turning up, turning into old Fousey again. He's getting kicked out of the malls in Toronto and beefing with security. Typical Fousey, okay? And uh, this is where he's getting back into his streamer bag, but this is also what gets him in trouble. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens with Fousey. Uh, Will Smith was spotted at a ditty party where they're eating food off of a naked woman. That happens at a lot of parties, though. These these women get hired to have food placed on them and you know, they eat it off. It's it's for a private party. Um, diddy. So uh, more freak off uh, details came out. Comb subjected victims to physical, emotional, and verbal abuse. To cause the victims to engage in freak-offs, Combs maintained control over his victims, though. Among other things, physical uh, violence, promises of career opportunities, granting and threatening to withhold financial support, and by other corrective means, including trafficking their whereabouts, dictating the victims' appearance, monitoring their medical records, controlling their housing, and supplying them with controlled substances. Combs threatened victims' careers and livelihoods, including if they resisted participating in free costs, victims believed they could not refuse Combs. Demands without risking financial or job security or without repercussions in the form of physical or emotional abuse. After the free costs, Combs and victims were administered IV fluids to recover. They always add that IV fluids thing, huh, don't they? 50 Cent reacts to Meek Mill wanting to pay 100K for an investigative report on who is doing this to him. Who is slandering him? Because he says, they've been doing Meek dirty. You want to pay 100K to find out who's doing this. Meek, just look at yourself. You did it to yourself. You made yourself look suspect. You're hanging out with Diddy. You're saying suspect things to Diddy. Hey, you're sus, bro. It's just, it is what it is. Started lead over calls his beef with Young Buck, and he says he learned a lot about himself through the beef. And da 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 da. da. These guys had a good good work rapport before the beef, and at one point, Starlito just to, tried to come for Young Buck's manhood, and this isn't something really you can get past. Okay, he called Young Buck proud, which means you know he questions his manhood and his preference uh, in the bedroom, and. You know, it's easy for Starlito to brush it under the rug, but, you know, you kind of went hard with this. And honestly, to me, there's no coming back from that. Uh, you guys can let bygones be bygones, of course, because who wants to, like, be looking behind their back all the time, especially in Nashville. But, you know, Starlito obviously regrets it, and it says he, it set him back mentally in his career. Okay, so... Uh, I guess you missed that young buck thing. I don't. I, I don't know. I like Starlito a lot, but that whole beef was weird. It will. He said it was over egos, and that's how most beef is. Sometimes you got to check your ego. Your ego can be your worst enemy. So I do agree with him on that. Um. Offset believes he owns Cardi B for life because he, she is his baby mom. He says, everybody can see I don't want you. It's okay. I'm not talking. Oh, he said this already. I'm not talking about this no more. All love. She already said she's not talking about it anymore. You will be calling me after a couple months. You're my baby mom. I won. Ha ha ha. Bro. Offset, you're corny, bro. I'm going to be honest. You could rap and everything, but you can be corny. I'm so sick of this deli promotion for whatever you know like they always go they, they're making new york delis they made well they already did that they made new york delis corny okay it used to be the spot to go get a sandwich da, 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 get a chopped cheese you know that was just normal growing up to be honest with you and they've made it a spectacle you know it, it, this is normal we used to do this on the regular get an egg you know egg and cheese you know it's just like They've turned it into some promotional garbage. Now, Sexy Red's in there. I'm not, no offense to Sexy Red. She's in there just doing the promo. I mean, everyone does this, you know, but it'll forever be corny now. 
Diddy's lawyer says the indictment is the Fed's attempt to take down a successful black man. Nah, nah, nah. Diddy did this to himself through many different actions. Many, many different actions. Mainly ego and and uh, disrespecting people and taking advantage of women and treating them like objects, putting his hands on women. I mean, all uh, everything added up into a, just a cluster. Cash Doll puts this out. I believe it. She thinks this is a joke. She she believes this is a joke. She says, so my baby daddy new girlfriend, which is his other baby mama, always has something to say when it comes to how we handle our child. Mind you, me and him still sleep together. I was laid up over there all week. But because she got paid, he is on his way back to her. Am I wrong if I tell her I'm currently pregnant just using her? And he's just using her? Just kidding. But this is how y'all sound on an app full of strangers. And I just copied and posted this for jokes. There might be some truth to that. Soldier Boy says, I got a good story about one time I was chilling with Cassie and Diddy. Should I tell it? Damn, he's always desperate to be a part of like what's going on. Elizabeth Ovenson. Is that a real? I thought her name was something else. I guess she had another AKA for her books. Elizabeth Ovenson, AKA Superhead, claims she was gifted to Diddy by a high-powered music exec. You choose your pill, you take your uh, you take your champagne, and that's your vibe for the night. It's intense. This uh, there's a lawyer in Texas now that's putting together a class action lawsuit to find all the victims of Diddy and cl clump them up and do a class action lawsuit against Diddy. Uh, anyone that was taken advantage of, this is this is the kind of stuff that's going to bring Diddy down to, it's going to whittle him down to nothing. I'm telling you, man, these are going to be big cases. Yeah, these are just cr uh, civil cases against him that'll make him lose hundreds of millions of dollars distributed to the victims. It's going to be bad. It is what it is, man. I mean, you know, you reap what you sow, I guess. You know. Andre 3000 and his baby mom, Erica Badu, they, they're having fun with their instruments on stage. He's playing the flute. She's playing the instrument she plays. It is what it is. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I will check you guys in the next one. Uh, let me see if I can find yeah, that's about it. Appreciate you all. And uh, I'll check in the next one. Appreciate you for watching. Peace.